All right, so let's move on to the second part of comparing decimals. Um, so we will focus mostly on um, just deciding which is bigger between two decimals. Now we are going to introduce mixed numbers and talk a little bit more about fractions. Again, the purpose of that is so when we start doing fractions, we're kind of already warmed up to it and uh, we'll have to start cold. All right, so speaking of cold and warming up, uh, let's go over our warm up for today. It says model each pair of decimals and write an inequality to compare them. Um, so let me get my numbers here. So we are going to compare 3.2 and 3.5. And then we're going to compare 2.1 and, and 1.4, excuse me. Okay, so let's do that here. Okay, plenty of room. You can actually put them both on here. So in blue, I'll write um, 3.2 and 3.5 so we're comparing these two so in the ones column you can see the threes are the same so we look one spot to the right and then we notice that in the tenths column 3.5 is bigger so we can say um, 3.2 is less than 3.5 or you can say 3.5 is greater than 3.2 it all depends on which way that's facing for that. So let's compare 2.1 or 2 and 1 tenths and 1 and 4 tenths or 1.4. Um, right away, we see that the 2 is bigger in this one. So we don't even have to look at the tenths column for this one. So 2.1 is greater than 1.4. See, even as an adult, I, I'm saying two points such and such. Uh, two and one tenths is greater than one and four tenths. And then one and four tenths is less than two and one tenths. So there we go. There's our warm up. Okay. If you could turn to page 171, we'll get started. And okay, Gary and Melissa uh, compare the distances they bike each morning to get to school. Gary bikes three and two hundred and seventy five thousandths kilometers. Melissa bikes three and twenty four hundredths kilometers. Who bikes farther to get to school? Okay, so again, to do this, we are going to use place value chart. And we don't have to make too much for this one. Looking at those numbers, I can tell I need something for the ones column, a decimals column, um, the tenths, the hundredths, and the thousands. Okay, so I'm put G for Gary. So Gary bikes three and 275 thousandths. And then Melissa bikes three and 24 hundredths. So let's compare these two. Um, the ones column, the threes match up. So we look over at the tenths column. The twos are the same, same value. Looking at the hundredths column, Gary wins out because um, he's biking seven hundredths and is comparing the 400. So Gary is our big winner because he knows uh, decimal place value. All right, let's turn the page. And I just want to take a moment to look at this. Um, so for this, we're talking about our decimals uh, for Gary and Melissa. So we're going to talk to them in terms of mixed numbers. Now, decimals are um, fairly simple to convert into fractions because, as you can see, um, that whole number just becomes the larger number of the mixed number, the whole number part, and the decimals become the fraction part. 
And over here with Melissa, it's the same deal. We've got a three that becomes that, and then the 24, um, the fraction there becomes that. Now, what you probably noticed already is this part is not the same as this part. So I've got arrows all over the place. Let me get rid of some of those for you guys. Okay. So uh, if you can think about it, the reason we do this part right here is because we need the same denominators. We need that same bottom number when we're comparing them. So you can take your 24 hundredths and we've got to turn it into a thousandths because it's easier to make this bigger by a place value than to make this one on the left smaller. So this becomes 240 over a thousand or 240 thousandths. So as you can see right here, um, we can compare them now. So the threes, those match up. It's these top numbers that are different. And we know that 275 is greater than 240. So that would be another larger distance. So that's another way to do it. Creating fractions to do that. But we use, as you can see below here, a place value chart. And we got all the way to this part. And we didn't even need to look at that part of Gary's measurement. So we use those to compare. So use mixed numbers, use place value chart. Obviously, I uh, prefer the place value chart, but I will be mixing more fractions here as we go. All right, glance over to the page on the right, page 173. Um, both model it's changed the way the fractional part or decimal part of three and 24 hundredths is represented. And what they're talking about is, notice they've got a zero here that wasn't in the original problem. They added that so you would have these to compare if we needed to. But that's something we're not really gonna focus too much on. All right, what's the same about how the denominator of the fraction and the place value of the decimal change? Um, they change from hundredths to thousandths. Okay, so basically that what they mean by that is this three and 24 hundredths. They added a zero on there to make it three and 24 thousandths, um, the same way they did with the decimals when we were working on that before. Uh, number two, what's the same about how the numerator, which is the top number of a fraction, that means of the fraction and digits to the right of the decimal point change, um, they change. from 24 to 240. How does rewriting the fractional part or decimal part of three and 24 hundredths make it easier to compare uh, three and 24 hundredths to three and 275 thousandths? Um, you only compare the numerators, which again are the top numbers of a fraction. Denominators is the bottom, of course. Uh, write an inequality statement using the symbol greater than to compare the distance Gary and Melissa bike, who bikes farther to school. Well, we know Gary distance is greater than Melissa's distance. And look at the place value chart in the second model. It. What's the greatest place value for which the number uh, three and 275 thousandths and three and 24 hundredths have different digits? That was the hundredths. Place value was the one that really gave us uh, the comparison part to use. We didn't even need to look at the thousandths. How can you use this place value to show that Gary bucks farther? That's uh, simple. Seven hundredths is greater than four hundredths. And it's supposed to be a four. Okay. 
just like that. And you can skip number six. We don't need to talk about that. And all right, so turn the page to 174. Uh, Braden and Kayla measured the width of their kitchen tables. Braden's table is one and 46 um, hundredths meters wide. Kayla's table is one and 62 hundredths meters wide. Whose table is the widest? Show your work. So let's let's do this. Let's take that one and 46 hundredths and turn it into a mixed number. Um, the whole number one is this, and then it's 46 hundredths, also known as 46 over 100. Braden, oh wait, that was Braden's table. All right, so let's get my numbers. B for Braden, K for Kayla. Kayla's table is one and 62 hundredths. Okay, whose table is the widest? Show your work. Um, well, we can do that pretty easily. If you look at, um, so our whole numbers are the same. So then we look at our denominators are the same, so that checks out. So all we have to do is look at these, compare these two numbers. I know 46 is less than 62 which means Kayla's table is the larger table. Okay, moving on to eight. Let me clear my ink. Heather's rabbit has a mass of two and, okay, I see what we're doing here. Two and 19 hundredths kilograms. Jelani's rabbit has a mass of two and 195 thousandths kilograms. Um, write an inequality statement comparing the masses of the rabbits. Whose rabbit has a greater mass? Show your work. Okay. Um, so we did that last problem with mixed numbers and converting these to, uh, to, to mixed numbers. Let's go back to our trusty friend, the place value chart. Do this one again, just showing you the different ways. Here's our ones place, our tenths, our hundreds, and our thousands place. Okay, so each for Heather, her rabbit is two and 19 hundredths. Now they, they had the zero here for the thousands place. Put that in there for comparison's sake. Um, Jelani's rabbit is two and 195 thousandths. And now you see why they snuck that zero in there like that. Because the ones column, the tenths and hundreds all match up. It's when we get to this one where we've got a difference. A five is greater than a zero. So um, Jelani's rabbit is the bigger of the two. And to write an inequality statement to show that, we can show two, five is greater than one, nine. And last but not least, question nine. Uh, question nine is interesting. Um, so bear with me on this one. So select all the decimals that are greater than 715 and 148 thousandths and less than 715 and 35 hundredths. So down below in your workspace, I want you to write down 715 and 48 and put this symbol there because that means this number is less than anything that's here. And I'm gonna put a big old question mark but we also want it to be greater than or less than this number. So if you look at that carefully, you can see the number we're looking for with the big old mystery question mark here, which I'll highlight also in red just to make it stand out. Um, it's gotta be between these two numbers. So let's go number by number and see what we have. 
So we have the first number, A, 715 and 340 thousandths. So that looks like it is matching up. That works. Uh, 715 and 4 tenths. Well, we've got a 1 tenths and a 3 tenths, so that crosses this one off. That doesn't work. 714 and 156 um, 56 thousandths. Now I see if it's 714, it's going to be less than these whole numbers already, so we don't even have to look further beyond that. 715 and 75 thousandths. Again, this um, tenths place value has a 1, so that 0 would have knocked it out. And 715 and 28 hundredths, that is just less than this 35 and greater than this, so this works out. So A and E will work for that one. Okay, and your homework is gonna be doing G13, putting decimals in order. Um, it's basically, you'll be given four decimals and you can drag and drop them into uh, either greater than to less than or less than to greater than. And you shouldn't have any problem with that, but contact me if you do.